So now that we have a semblance of an opposition coalition, what should they be doing to try and put the NDA led by the BJP on the spot? Why are they not asking the hard questions? For example, in an interview, Jay Sai Deepak asked uh, in Financial Express, why is the opposition not asking when the government is going to free up temples? An excellent question. By the way, I would, uh, you know, the first question uh, people would ask as a counter to that is that, well, even if we were to give it away, who would take it from us? Well, it used to be that all these temples were managed by dharmakartas, and we have to go back to that system. To start with, we can take it in a phased manner, take the top 10 revenue producing temples, make sure that those things run, and then afterwards use that template, learn the lessons, and then go on and do it for the rest of the temples. If you take a look at today, the state of temples, especially in the southern states of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, this is where it's <clears throat> at its very worst. The Kerala government run by the communists don't believe in God, but they believe in the management of the temple. Why? Because they can appropriate slash misappropriate whatever the properties of the temple are. And the same goes for Tamil Nadu also. HR and CE is essentially robbing the temples a lot of loot happening. In fact, many executive officers can't even produce their uh, appointment letters because there are no appointment letters. Very arbitrarily done in a basis where probably money goes exchanged to just, you know, get people in positions and then the EO, the executive officer gets paid 15, 20, 25,000 rupees a month. But the archakas, the ones who actually do the puja, they don't get any money. This is the sad state of affairs in Tamil Nadu. I don't know how things are in Kerala. You guys can uh, update me on that. But second question that they should be asking, why are they not asking about implementation of the Uniform Civil Code or the National Registry of Citizens or even coming up with a way to control the population of India? We are creating an Australia every day. Probably we are now creating it every half a day. I don't know. I mean, somebody can take a look at it and tell me what is the rate of increase of population of India. So if that is the case, and then India still manages to go and lose to Australia in cricket, it's a matter for a different day and different debate. But why is the opposition not asking this question of the government? And thirdly, this is perhaps the most significant. Why isn't the opposition asking, hey, you said that we were all corrupt that we have got millions stashed away, not millions, billions and trillions stashed away in foreign countries. Why have you not brought them back? These questions can be asked because it looks like most of them have covered their rather wide behinds by moving money to from one place to another place. So they are reasonably sure that they will not be traced. So if that is the case, then they should be, you know, then they know that the government cannot attract that, then why don't you wrap them on the knuckles on that? Just these three questions, just these three questions, ask and you shall be rewarded. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.